Hey everybody, welcome to Geotech and More. In today's video on Geotech and More, I'll show you a cool way to run the Raspberry Pi desktop on a PC or an Apple Mac computer. I'll provide a link to this website in the uh, description. You go here to this website, you scroll down right here, you click this blue box, you click download, which turns red when you click on it, and you uh, install this on a USB drive and then from the USB drive you can experiment with it and try it out and then you can install it on your uh, computer if you'd like. I recommend installing it. It runs well on an old computer and it runs well on a modern computer. Um, right here is the uh, website. You just click download, you install it. And uh, this is a way to get the Raspberry Pi desktop on a regular computer a desktop or a laptop without actually owning a uh, Raspberry Pi computer, which is one of these. You see that? Uh, I recommend buying one to check it out. I'm sure you would like it. You can do many experiments with these. But if you don't have a Raspberry Pi uh, computer, this is a way to uh, get experience it kind of in a way, you know, on your uh, regular uh, computer, your regular uh, laptop or desktop. So like I said, the uh, website is right here. I'll provide a link in the description to this. You click download, you install this to a USB drive, and then you can install it to your computer after trying it out. And uh, yeah, right here I have it installed. Uh, I'm running the uh, Chromium web browser right here, which is based, well, it's based on Chromium. Chromium is the open source version of uh, Google Chrome. Yeah, you see this is uh, Chromium right here as of this uh, recording. The version is uh, version 90, uh, 90.04430.212. <laughs> uh, but, you know, you can always update the system as time goes on and get newer versions of uh, Chromium and all your other programs. Once this uh, operating system is installed, you can update it. it all the updates are free and stuff like that. Right here is my uh, YouTube page. I make many uh, tech-related videos. Right here are all my videos on uh, retro gaming. Sometimes I do videos on random things. Many random things. Here's my website. My YouTube uh, webpage, I should say. I don't have many subscribers, but uh, I'm thankful for the su subscribers I have. If you like this video, uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you can thumbs it down and, you know, explain to me why you don't like it. I always take creative uh, criticism and I use it to my benefit. <laughs> you know, try to learn from it or whatever. Because um, life is always a learning experience. Uh, if you like it, you can let me know why you like it, or, or you just watch the video and uh, enjoy it and go upon your way. <laughs> it's up to you. So right here is the uh, desktop. Right here I added the uh, weather right here. Here's the current weather in my, uh, my neck of the woods. The city that I'm in. I'm here in New Jersey, so there you go. Um, here's the time and military time. So right now it's 20.30, which is 8.30 p.m. Here's your uh, volume control. Here's the uh, Wi-Fi. Here's Bluetooth. Uh, right here is to uh, remove, uh, you click this to uh, remove the, uh, what do you call it, like the uh, SD card I have over here. If I want to safely remove it, I click over here. Right here is the button that I'm recording with. I'm using these, this program called uh, record, record My Desktop, which is a fantastic uh, way to uh, record your desktop right here. Record my desktop. I installed this program. I installed many of the uh, programs right here. Uh, just like the Raspberry Pi desktop on the Raspberry Pi computers, you have your programming tools right here. You have uh, education programs right here. This is a uh, program right here um, where you can learn to uh, you learn, uh, what do you call it? circuit design and stuff like that with this program right here, Smart Sim. And then right here, yeah, these are your uh, programming uh, tools. Because the Raspberry Pi computers are basically uh, for programming and stuff, of course you can do 
like retro gaming. You can set up a multimedia desktop thing. You can run Kodi on it. Uh, you can do many different projects. Uh, out of the box, it comes with uh, LibreOffice, which is a Microsoft Office uh, clone. So you can open up uh, Microsoft Office documents and create documents and stuff like that. Uh, out of the box, this comes with the uh, Chromium web browser. Here's your email uh, client, cause mail, if you want to set up uh, mail on your computer. But personally, I don't do that because I just check my email on the, uh, on the internet, on the web. Um, but, you know, if you want to set it up on your computer, you can set it up with clause mail. Uh, this is also another web browser right here called Dillo which is a very small, uh, we call web browser right here. It's a very cool little web browser. Um, it doesn't run, uh, does this web browser, browser doesn't run YouTube or anything, but you can check out websites and, uh, you know, just read uh, different uh, websites and stuff like that. It loads pretty fast. See, here's DistroWatch where you can download many distributions from Linux distributions or uh, BSD based distributions right here. So yeah, uh, Dillo is a very cool little uh, web browser. Here's the uh, website for Dillo. If you're running a uh, distribution like Ubuntu or Fedora or Red Hat, you can install Dillo from the uh, package manager. It's a nice, you know, secondary backup uh, web browser just if you want to browse the web without without doing any multimedia things basically just reading the uh, websites you know it's cool for that but no need to worry you know you can always watch YouTube on Chromium web browser or any other web browser that you install um, while I mentioned that uh, this does come with a tool to uh, add and remove software right here out of the box so you search for whatever uh, program you want to uh, install. Right here, you see you have the game section right here. So you can install one of these uh, programs right here. You know, you have uh, programs to install. You got networking tools and internet tools. and You can install Firefox or any other web browser or SeaMonkey, which is an awesome web browser. Uh, SeaMonkey web browser is actually uh, a continuation of um, the Netscape uh, web browser, which is really awesome. Just like Firefox is, you know, and it's a continuation of Netscape basically as well. So uh, I also installed the uh, FileZilla uh, FTP client. I installed the XChat IRC client. Uh, out of the box, this comes with VLC Media Player, but I installed the video player right here. I have Stream Tuner right here. For listening to internet radio, here's record my desktop, which I showed earlier, which I'm using right now to record this video. Here's a nice uh, Winamp, uh, what do you call it, a uh, clone of uh, the program Winamp, where you can listen to uh, music with this. It's very cool. There's always there's always a uh, open source, uh, what do you call it, alternative to. Uh, the popular programs that you use on Microsoft Windows and Apple Mac computers. Uh, I installed Audacity, I installed Audacious, which is a also another music player. Audacity, you can edit uh, MP3 files and audio files with this. I installed a uh, CD burner because I still uh, burn in CDs. Here's Cody that I installed. Here's uh, the awesome OpenShot video editor, which I'll edit this video with. Uh, this is also another uh, audio player right here that I installed. Then you go to graphics out of the box. It comes with uh, image viewer, which you can install. Uh, I mean, you can uh, look at many different image uh, file formats and stuff. I installed Inkscape. Here's XPaint, which is a uh, clone of Microsoft Paint. Uh, here's GIMP, which is an alternative to uh, Photoshop, which is a really awesome photo editor. Uh, here's a nice uh, editor for your uh, diagrams called Dia, and then here's the uh, Blender program, which you can do 3D animation with and stuff like that. I really don't mess with Blender, but uh, I installed it because OpenShot actually uses uh, Blender, and OpenShot Video Editor also uses Inkscape to uh, create many of its effects. So that's why I installed that. But you can, you know, if you want to 
mess around with these two programs, feel free to. You know, that's what's so awesome about using uh, GNU Linux distributions and all these open source operating systems. They're just great. So I installed all these games right here. Um, I installed many games. Uh, I installed the uh, device emulator, which lets you run uh, Commodore 128, Commodore 64, Commodore CBM2, Commodore PET, Commodore Plus 4, uh, and a Commodore VIC-20 computer uh, program. So you can, you know, I, I like to run old uh, video games and stuff. And back in the uh, 80s, I had a Commodore 64 computer. So with this, you can run uh, Commodore games and stuff and programs. It's really awesome. So yeah, uh, once you install this, you just look for the uh, Vice Emulator, V-I-C-E, and then you can run your uh, Commodore games on this. And um, yeah, it's awesome. I also, uh, when I was a little kid, I also owned a uh, Magnavox Odyssey 2 computer. That was actually my first computer. Um, yeah, you can Google it and look it up or use DuckDuckGo, search the internet for it. <laughs> um, it's a, it was really an awesome computer. And there's still people that own uh, these old computers, the Commodore computers, the Odyssey 2, the old Atari computers and stuff like that, as well as the video game systems. It, it, it's unbelievable, many systems out there. So right here I installed the Bleach Bit, which uh, cleans out the files on your computer. I installed the uh, Midnight Commander, which is a clone of Norton Com Commander. Uh, it's an open source version of it. You just, uh, you can just, uh, what do you call it? Um, here it is, I'll show you right here. See, it's just a file manager. So you can just search through your uh, computer with this. And I installed uh, Wine, the, the uh, Wine emulator, which lets you run uh, Microsoft Windows uh, programs. And this is a front end called Q4 Wine. It actually lets you run uh, Microsoft Windows programs. And speaking of that, I also installed uh, Play on Linux, which lets you run uh, Microsoft Windows programs under Linux, which is awesome. Uh, it comes with a calculator out of the box comes with an uh, archiver uh, out of the box. I installed a uh, clam antivirus, which is an antivirus to scan for, uh, what do you call it, if, if scan for viruses on your computer. Even though I'm running uh, Linux, which doesn't have a virus, like there are viruses, but not, ma not many, not as many for Microsoft as in Microsoft Windows. Uh, but I still installed a uh, virus scanner. Uh, I have a PDF uh, viewer right here just to view uh, PDF files. Here's your task manager that it comes installed out of the box. Here's the terminal, because uh, sometimes you'll need the terminal to run different uh, different commands on your computer and stuff like that. So this is based on Debian, so right here you have your Debian reference if you need, have any questions about Debian and stuff. Just click this right here. Of course you can also search the web for it yourself. And then here's uh, getting started with, uh, you know, Raspberry Pi projects, and here's help. And uh, right here is the uh, bookshelf, because you can actually uh, download a book, you know, books off the Internet, and you put it right here. In this program, here's your preferences, and here's where you add and remove software, if you'd like. Here's all your uh, categories you can search under right here. So, you know, you have networking stuff comes up and you can install it. You can install different web browsers and different games and different tools through this. Now another way to do this is also by installing Synaptic, which is what I did. I installed the uh, Synaptic Package Manager. And you can install uh, programs this way. Since this is based on Debian, Debian uses Synaptic as its uh, package manager right here search for whatever you want you know uh, let me see you can search for um, here GIMP you got a second to load up here's a uh, scroll down here's the GIMP this explains on what it is what it does you see 
it's similar it says it right here similar to the ones you find in Photoshop like I said this is like a uh, Photoshop clone awesome program and it's available for Microsoft Windows Apple Mac computers for uh, GNU Linux distributions like Debian Ubuntu uh, many distributions have it installed out of the box uh, pre-installed but you can also install it you know through the package manager of your uh, distribution awesome program so you can do updates with this you, you click reload and then uh, if you want to update your system this is an easy way to update your system click reload then you click um, mark all updates there's no uh, upgrades I mean mark all upgrades you click that but there's no updates if there were updates then you, this thing would be bold right here that says apply you click apply and you install your updates so there you go that's a look at um, at this uh, Raspberry Pi desktop now if you don't have a Raspberry Pi computer this is a great way to experience it without actually owning one <laughs> of course I do encourage you to uh, buy a Raspberry Pi computer because they're like really cool they look sort of like this right here you know these little computers right here you can look on Amazon or you can go to Best Buy and buy one uh, they're very cool you can do many projects with it so uh yeah I'll provide a link in the uh, description to this website right here you read about it and then uh, you click the download box right here you install this to a USB drive and then you install it to your uh, computer you can check it out without installing it you just set your uh, desktop or laptop to boot from USB from the USB drive and then you can check it out you can mess with it without you can fool around with it like I am right here without installing it and then you can install it if you'd like yeah highly recommended so yeah I'd like to thank you for watching my video Geotech and more here's my YouTube page I invite you to subscribe uh, like my video or don't like my video if you have any comments comment on what you thought of, of the video and uh, enjoy and uh, be well everyone take care now bye